So let's talk about where you can find data extensions in Marketing Cloud. So let's get started. The first place you'll want to go to find data extensions and create data extensions is you'll want to go to Email Studio. So let's hover over Email Studio here and click Email. And then hover over Subscribers and click Data Extensions. And then come over here to the top right portion of your screen and click Create. And we can create data extensions here. We can create a standard data extension, which lets us create custom fields to store data. We can create a filtered data extension, which lets us filter fields, measures, and filters for sendable data extensions from a source data extension. So we'll have to already have a regular data extension to create a filtered data extension. And then the third data extension is a random data extension. Random data extensions allow you to randomly select subscribers from a source data extension. So once again, you'll have to create a regular data extension and you'll have to create a random data extension from that regular data extension or standard data extension that you already created. We'll cover how to create all three of these data extensions in future videos. So stay tuned for that. So let's exit out of here and let's look at how to create a data extension in Contact Builder. So while we're in Email Studio, let's hover over Email up here in the top left corner and then this drop down comes up over here and we can go all the way over to Audience Builder here and click Contact Builder. And now that we're in Contact Builder, we can click Data Extensions up here on the Data Extensions tab. And then we can click Create up here in the top right corner of the page. And we can create a data extension here. And we can choose to create it from a new data extension, from an existing data extension, or from a template. And we'll cover how to do all that in future videos. But for now, that's how you find your two different places that you can find data extensions in Marketing Cloud. One is in Email Studio, and the other is here in Contact Builder. So let's go to the next video.